Hello. Another day, another day to eat. We have to eat every day. Why? So it's just a simple meal today. I just brought up what the family's eating and what they're eating right now. Well, what they ate today was California rolls. You know, Angela's over, so my mom, she's making her California rolls, her kimbap, and all that. And so I just brought that up, okay? I know I eat it a lot, but it's good. And I also have kimchi uh, fried rice with spam, fried egg, and some cheese. The cheese is all no cheese pool. Oh. And I can't heat it up now because I have the California roll here. Anyway. So I have pears from our backyard. Our baby tree gave birth to pears, Asian pears. Got some blueberries, mixed vegetables, cucumbers, carrots, tomatoes, bell, yellow bell peppers. And then these are grapes from our grapevine, the Concord green grapes. I'm so amazed. And our trees and vines are only a year old. So let's get started. I'm hungry. Oh, I wanted that cheese pool. Now it's... Oh, thumbnail. Always mess up. <laughs> it's always funny. Oh so hot here. It's always hot. It's always awkward. But thank you guys for joining. You guys always seem to be here when I'm not. <laughs> I wanted that cheese pull. Now it's a hard chunk of cheese. Let me get it out of the way. <sighs> I shouldn't have put the cheese there. You try to do it so perfectly, and it gets even harder. Do you guys like the yolk runny? Kimchi fried rice. It's always good. Mm. My drink. Simple apple juice. Apple juice. <gasps> Wait a minute. Are you so, is this a concentrate? Cucumber mint, sparkling water. <gasps> that was concentrate. Oh my. I think this is still strong. I should read before I bring up stuff. Huh? I should pay more attention. But even bringing up this simple meal takes a lot of time. I didn't drink it straight out of the can or <laughs> I 
just bring things up and you guys get to experience firsthand my first time everything so homemade not my made but homemade California roll this is why we never buy California rolls at the restaurants just other stuff lately oh there's she's woke mm. so how's your eating today if you're not a healthy eater at least try one meal that's healthy spicy because it feels like a challenge when it's too spicy. I actually want to dip this in cucumber. Oh. Brings me back to challenges. Food joke, riddle. You have to guess what this food item is. I always try to keep up with mustard and barbecue sauce. Who am I? try to keep up with mustard and barbecue sauce. Who am I? Does this light even make any difference? Cheese is good too. Not that bad. There's spam in here. Spam, eggs, more egg on top, green onions, chopped up, diced up, kimchi. Always try to keep up with mustard and barbecue sauce. Who am I? The answer is ketchup. It's ketchup. Veggies. Oh, 
soda by accident. <laughs> See, even accidents help me out. tomatoes from the garden. Cucumbers not, carrots not, bell peppers not. Just this, the pear, and the grapes are from our garden. Actually, this sauce is good with everything. I was wondering why people put this on everything. I see why. As long as I don't overdo it. I challenge you to eat healthy. one meal a day healthy eating because we only get this one body right one body one chance to be healthy you guys for all your support. I always appreciate that. My first shout out. I mean, all of you, you guys, you know, you're all great. But I don't want to miss anybody. Eventually, I'll, I'll try to get to every one of you. Because you deserve a big shout out for coming to this Granny's long video. Commenting, watching, thank you. You brighten up my day. First channel I want to um, shout out is... I might have shouted this person or this channel out before, I don't even know. Granny doesn't know. She doesn't remember everything, okay? So whatever she sees at that moment, oh, okay. And then she just goes with it, so. And she talks like she's a third person. <laughs> so I might have shouted this group out before, but hey, if you keep being, if you keep showing up in my channels, of course I'm gonna remember you and shout you out. Meshi, meshi. Marie and Sean Mangpa. Okay? So, I went to their channel. And it's it's Marie and Sean. It's not just one person. And they've been so generous, you know, watching all my videos, commenting. So I went there, you know, trying to return that love. And I just so happened to watch their cake eating video. And they showed bloopers at the end, not bloopers, but you know, more video at the end, behind the scenes. And the first part, they're both enjoying cake and they ate, ate a lot of cake. Little did I know 
that Marie forced Sean to eat the cake, you know, a lot of the cake. And he was like, I don't want it, but she made him eat it. So when we do videos, and we can all relate to that, right? Sometimes you have to act like, oh, that's so good. And you know, those of you that finish your food all the time, I'm sure there are times when you don't want to finish all of that. But you have to act like, mm, I'm so hungry. And you're like, oh, I'm so poor, I don't want that. You know? But just to please you viewers, to make you guys all interested and, oh, wow, that looks good, I'm so hungry. But then sometimes, you know, behind the scenes, you have to kind of like fake it. But I don't, I don't, I can't fake it. I can't fake it because I can't stuff myself. If I'm sick or something, I have to stop. I, I don't want to do that. But, you know, those people that do, you know, they feel sick, but then they just keep <laughs> extra kudos to you. I don't know how you do it. But I like to see those behind the scenes, you know. On my channel, I don't need the behind the scenes because what you, what I do here is what you get. But for the channels that do edit, show us your behind the scenes and show us your bloopers, you know, that keeps us more interested, right? At least for me, it does. Because I like the, the real, I like the raw, you know, the real deal raw stuff. That makes me laugh. So messy, messy. Is it supposed to mean messy, messy? But you kind of made it like that. Messy, messy. Marie and Sean Mukbang. Go check them out. And thank you, messy, messy, for all your support, all your time. Eat your yellows, eat your greens, eat your reds, eat your blues. Those of you that can't eat vegetables, I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe you didn't have a right sauce with it, you know. I think this is the perfect amount for me today. I'm gonna finish it. I don't know about the fruits, but I'll finish this. This is so good. And I used to hate it. I used to give all my ginger to my husband before. Not anymore. And mukbang changed me. Watching mukbangs, I see all, you know, all of you guys eating this and saying, wow, oh, it's so good. And I wanted to like it so bad, I kept eating it. Now I like it. Now I love it. I'm hoping I can do that with cilantro. Because cilantro is everywhere and everyone is saying it's so good. Should I even do a challenge on it? Maybe a bowl of cilantro? I don't know. Okay, second joke. What vegetable can you use to tie your shoelace? What vegetable can you use to tie your shoelace with? There's a vegetable like that. Try not to think so deep, okay? This is a pretty, it's a common vegetable that you guys probably all have somewhere in your house. California rolls, and I want to make 
can even cut this up. So what is it? What vegetable can you use to tie your shoelace? Are you guys liking my food jokes or should I just go back to the regular riddles? So you won't get any more earthquakes because you know my phone holder, the one that wobbles, and the one I had to take down. Well, I got a little tripod now, so it's not going to be no more earthquakes, see? I got to upgrade, right? <laughs> we all have to upgrade. Second shout out. Goes to Love to Eat ASMR and Mukbangs. So love to eat. She's been showing up and supporting this granny. For a minute there, I thought, what kind of apple juice is that dark? It's apple concentrate. So love to eat her profile picture is like a cartoonish looking picture with sunglasses and my profile picture is you know with sunglasses I went to her channel and she has these big you know she doesn't like show just her mouth she has these big sunglasses so we can't know who she really is hey love to eat are you gonna ever expose your face huh? I love to hear, you know, real people's real voices. And we do sound completely different when we whisper. Did you guys ever imagine that my voice would be this voice? Had I not? Um, you know, done a regular voice mukbang before. Because people sound completely different. real voice. She said, you have a deep voice. <laughs> Do I sound better whispering or talking? That's why I like my channel because I can do whatever I want. I can whisper if I want to. I do have a deeper voice, right? When I first um, started doing these mukbang videos, 
whispering sounds, it was like, oh, it's kind of embarrassing. You know, most of us don't want to hear our voices, right? When I first heard myself, I was like, ew, it was cringy. And then, when I, um, and because my first videos were all whispering, right? It didn't sound like me, so I thought, hmm, it's okay. But after I, you know, exposed my face and my voice, the first video that I saw um, of me speaking in my regular voice, it was like, ugh, that was cringy, really. But now, it's still kind of ugh, like that, but I'm used to it now. And at this point, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care what I sound like. <laughs> but I think most of us, we hate hearing our own voices. And my voice is kind of deep. People think, when I first meet people, later on they tell me, they think I'm snobbish, I'm like a girlish, girlish, you know, that into like, you know, girl things. and But they don't realize that I'm more like a, I'm a tomboy, you know. And they said they used, you know, they thought I was picky. Well, you know, I'm not, you know, snobby and just mm, like that. But I'm not. I'm, I'm really not picky either. I didn't wear dresses till I was 17 years old. I used to even go to church with jeans and a t-shirt, tennis shoes, because afterwards I'd go out and play, you know, play that time kickball, baseball, you know, softball after church. It was all about playing sports. So I think this is the most ladylike I've been all my life, trying to look calm and, you know, okay, this is Granny, but I'm not used to this. I'm out of my element, okay? Just give me a ball, give me some kind of activity, fun, competitive <laughs> sport, you know? Even now, I enjoy it. Okay, now let's try the grapes. These are con green Concord grapes from our own grape vine in the backyard. And Concord grapes, you don't want to really want to eat the, the peel. So you eat it like this. These are tiny Asian pears. They're not fully grown yet, but... I have to wait a little longer. Pretty sweet, though. your life. Thank you for joining me. Anytime you watch my video, why don't you just bring your meal? 
then that way it won't be as boring because you'll be eating. That's what I used to do when I used to watch, you know, my the long the video channels that I the channels that I've been watching before I did my own mukbang or the long ones are just the ones I liked they were just long I don't know why all of them none of them were like short ones and I used to just bring my food so it didn't seem that long to me so if you think my videos are too long just watch me during your meal, you know, when you're eating alone, not when you eat with your family. Go eat with your family. I don't want they I don't want them to hate on Granny, okay? Eat with your family. But if you have to eat alone, just turn Granny on and eat with me. Until next time. May God bless you, be safe, and peace.